All right, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this will be my first um, episode of the second quarter for week one under uh, grade nine, that's English. So for those who just bump in my channel for the first time, I'd like you to uh, subscribe in it by clicking the subscription button. And of course, if you wish to get more updates of the coming videos that I'll be recording, feel free to do so. So for this afternoon or for this session, um, I shall be uh, giving to you the content on the first topic for English grade 9, that is milk base, which is anchored on uh, making connections. All right. So this is actually a PowerPoint presentation that I uh, crafted following the uh, daily lesson lag format. Okay, so there will be succeeding videos that is connected also in this uh, discussion for us to be able to uh, capture the entire um, the entire content of the competency. So I hope you're all ready. So let's begin. So for our beginning idea, so it says here under the hook idea, what are the things that you can remember when seeing this image? For example, this one it's a microphone. So learners could be could share that uh, this reminds them of uh, a, a singer, all right, or any other, or their mom who used to be scolding them when they were, were, were still kids and maybe up to now. So we will be expecting that from our learners. So from this one, we can connect it to our objectives, which is on watching a world issue about Russia and Ukraine war. So I use this as my springboard in discussing the, the topic, okay? So the next one, the next objective is uh, establishing connections of the video to other relevant aspects of analyzing literature. And finally, uh, sharing the importance of connecting literature to other forms of text and non-text sources. So, um, I had this video, I, I used this video from Project Nightfall. I had them watch, I let them watch the video. So, uh, as they watch the video, this is actually the current situation of Russia, wherein um, the Russian civilians are being forced to participate or to become soldiers or members of the army of the Russia to participate in dispute. Uh, between Ukraine. So if you want to visit the video of, of Aegon, you would see there this issue. So on that uh, specific video, I use this guide questions, which is the following. So what is the main issue presented in the video? What keeps Russian concerned about their escape? And what are the personal reasons shared by the Russian civilians? And in what way video affect the world, affect us worldwide? So in that in that way, in that case, uh, if we try to focus on the last part of the of the question, it's already an introduction of connecting the topic to um, to to different scenarios. Okay, so later on we'll we'll try to discover that. Now here are now are the, are the other guide questions that can be done just saying a series of questions that can be answered by the learners through group activities. The first one is, does escaping from one's country a show of disloyalty? The second is, what song can, can the video be related? And the third is, what historical record can be relevant to the Russia situation? And what drama or movie that the Russia situation can be related? And how can you show loyalty or love to your country? So these questions are actually processing questions that will allow us already to let the learners connect on the topic or on the springboard that we used a while back, which is the video. So that is already an indication for us that if the learners could answer these questions, and of course they, they do, then the connection is already established. So we also have the thoughts connected here. So were the presentations a while back shows connection to the video of course it is okay that's like what just like what i have said a while back it's already connected to our discussion so next one so now since uh this is already established in the discussion we are now ready to um let them uh discover what make, making connections are so it's actually a strategy that can assist us 
in extracting the meaning of from a text or something you see on TV. So it is about the information you are reading, connecting to other familiar texts, and to show the world works that goes far beyond your personal experiences. So in this way, making connections are really a really form of comprehension for learners who relate whatever is the content of the text to another text to themselves and to the world so it says here it is about the information you are reading connecting to other familiar texts and how the world works that go that goes far beyond your personal experiences so if our learners are actually guided with their schema or their knowledge about something they have read, they have experienced, and they have learned as an issue in the society, that's already a, an, an indication that they are making connections, okay? So we have here different strategies in making connections, just like what I said a while back. Uh, there are three actually. So the first one is text to text. So in text to text, in text to text, it says here that it is a connection between texts. Sometimes when reading, you are reminded of other things that they have read. Other books by the same author, stories from singular genre and the like. So it means that a learner comprehends to a certain text when he or she knows how to connect it to another text. So for example, a certain setting in, in the story can be connected to another setting of another story that becomes a text-to-text -text connection or if a learner shares or be reminded that a certain character in a short story is just like the characteristic of the character in another story so that's a text-to-text -text connection the second one is text-to-self so herein this is a highly personal connection that a reader makes between a piece of reading materials and the reader's own experiences or life. So simply put, when a learner, when a learner shares a reflection of what he or she read in a certain reading material, then that becomes a, a text to self connection. So for example, a learner would say, ah, this story reminds me of the greatness of my father when he was still alive. So it's already a personal experience from the learner getting connected from the text he or she read. Okay? And finally, the text to world. In this uh, strategy, the text to world has a broader connections in the world. Okay? The text can be related to social issues going far beyond the personal experiences. So, it means to say that any text being read that is connected in, our, in, in world issues, in societal issues, say for example, about corruption, you talk about, you talk about um, politics, you talk about war, you talk about um, religions, you see, these are pressing issues that can be connected in a certain text, okay? So these are the three strategies in making text connection. The first one is text to text, text to, the second is text to self, and the third is text to world. Now let's try to study these examples. It says here, under text to text, this character has the same problem that I read about in a story last year. So that alone is already an indication that the learner has read a story with the same characteristics of both characters in three stories. Okay? How about this one, text to self? It says here, this story reminds me of a vacation we spent at my grand we spent at my grandfather's farm. So that alone is already a text to self. It is because that is a sharing of a personal experience from the learner. And finally, the text to world. So it says here, the book I read yesterday reminds me, should be reminds me, of the martial law in the history of the Philippines. So you see, it's getting connected to uh, an issue in the Philippines, okay? The next one is a uh, text to another example. It says here, the ending of this story is the same from the story I read before. See, that's a text to text. Text to self. This essay made me realize that you should respect your parents. And 
Oh, you see, um, it's a realization, a reflection from the learner. Okay? Text world. The news is quite timely about the increasing oil price hike in our country. You see, it's a, an issue right now. Okay? So, you see, a lot of three of these uh, strategies are really important for us to know if a learner comprehends in the text he is reading. You see? But the question is, can, can we actually make three connections in a certain text, in one text? Definitely, yes. It is because that depends now on what angle are we trying to highlight in the text. Okay? Because most texts are actually connected in most of this. And let's just say in all of this, it is because this text can allow us to be flexible okay in gauging the understanding of our learners in terms of their analysis or in their analysis of the text being read so for us teachers we should learn to uh, extract more of these um, questions in order for us to actually gauge as to how depth okay is the understanding of the learners and the text they are reading of course um, with the guide questions that we create we can be able to, uh, to, 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 to get it from them so thank you very much and i hope you've learned something